Hey guys, welcome to another video and another question. So today's question is statistics question. If summation xi minus 5, i goes from 1 to 9, if this sum is equal to 9, and the sum of the squares xi minus 5 square, again the sum going from 1 to i going from 1 to 9 is 45, then the standard deviation of the 9 items x1, x2 till x9 is 9, 4, 2, 3. Uh, I'm sure you guys should be able to do this. So you must pause and try it out yourself right now. Now, what is standard deviation? Standard deviation is the square root of variance, right? So if you want to find out variance of these observations, x1 to x9, that would be summation xi square upon 9 minus summation xi upon 9 whole square, right? So this is what variance is. And then your standard deviation is the square root of variance. Standard deviation is square root of variance. Now, variance or standard deviation, the fact is they remain unchanged if observations are added or subtracted by a fixed number. So if you add or subtract a fixed number from your observations, then there would be no change in standard deviation or variance. What we have, instead of xi's, what do we have? We have, we don't have summation xi with us, okay? We don't have this, but we have that summation xi minus 5 i goes from 1 to 9 is certain value, okay? So since standard deviation is not unchanged, if I am uh, subtracting a fixed value from each observation, so this means basically you are subtracting exactly 5 from each observation. So uh, your, your uh, standard deviation will remain unchanged and therefore the required standard deviation is Summation xi minus 5 whole square upon 9, i goes from 1 to 9, minus summation xi minus 5 upon 9 whole square. So which means that what we have is the sum is 45. The variance would be variance would be 45 upon 9 minus 9 upon 9 whole square. So that means it is 5 minus 1, that is 4. So variance is 4. That means standard deviation of these observations will be square root of 4, and that will be taken as 2. So 2 should be the correct answer. Do we have an option? Yes, we do. So C is the correct option for us. 